Ooh, oh guys, we entered the Grand Mosque, or rather we stay outside of it because the gates are closed. We can't really enter right now, it's already one in the morning. This is how it looks on the outside, beautiful. We have a driver, Ishtiak here, and now we go around Abu Dhabi, beautiful. Come back tomorrow in the morning at nine o'clock when it opens. So we just entered the Grand Mosque. What happens? Over here, under the dome. Our values, humanity is our message to the world. This is so beautiful. We have people running around in both parts here. There's people scrolling. I'm actually quite close to missing my flight. I don't know what happens to it, but I can't miss on a view like this one. I mean, look at this, bro. It's just beautiful. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. I'm, I think I'm not allowed to say that here. Um, <clears throat> so. Okay, let's explore, yeah? I mean, look at all this little water fountains all around. And we have this little water fountain here. If we go inside, let's see. It's called the Sheikh Zayed Mosque. It's the Grand Mosque. It's the biggest mosque in the world. And it's called like that because Sheikh Zayed was the founder of UAE, yeah? He reunited the, I mean, he united the Emirates, uh, was born in Abu Dhabi himself. So there's a reason why this place, the most famous place in Abu Dhabi is called Sheikh Zayed Mosque. Look at this, wow. I'm in awe, this place is huge. I mean, look at all around. It's just so peaceful. Many tourists, of course. We have that over here. And as you can see, all of them have to wear specific headwear and clothing so that it's appropriate for the entering of the mosque. But as you can see, all people are happy walking all around with kids, with children. It's just so peaceful. It's beautiful. We have the Adan here. It's called for prayer. It's 1555 right now. So five minutes before four o'clock.
Oh, after we took some nice shots from the mosque, we're rushing back down to the taxi to our driver Ishtiak to go to the airport now. The flight is in exactly one and a half hours, I still have to check in. So let's see how that goes, yeah? <laughs> the kid almost like ran straight into me. <laughs> Okay, but that happens everywhere in the UAE here, yeah? so it's okay. So here you see again all those beautiful paintings on the walls. When you enter the Grand Mosque, it's like a huge hallway here. And you have all those things written on here. Thank you so much. People are letting me through now because they see that I'm rushing here, yeah? so yeah. <clears throat> a little run here now with all those beautiful imaginations all around us so yeah this is the mosque from the inside we didn't actually see that part because we're not the uh, worshippers we don't come to the worshippers um, I just count as a visitor one thing I really wanted to share with you is this really abstract thing in the UAE that everything, every cultural thing is compared um, and constructed with um, materialism all around and you can buy stuff everywhere um, and it's right next to it like if we go outside here you have this exit and right there it's like a huge shopping mall right next to the Grand Mosque of Sheikh Zayed. So it's interesting actually. We have like a penny press souvenir. So we entered the shopping mall of Grand Mosque. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And everywhere we get perfumes, like uh, tryouts. And we have these little diamonds and gold rings here. Flowers. I love Abu Dhabi souvenir stuff. All built on capitalism that's right next to the Grand Mosque. Like getting all of that back from its tourists. Like look at this classic Arabic shop, yeah? Where everything is overpriced like ah I think three times, four times, yeah. Where you can get it in Yemen for like two dirham. Which would be equal to like 50, 25 cents, 50 cents. Yeah, 50 cents. Got a little Starbucks over there. Can't see anymore. Pink berry. Mother care. Mother care. <laughs> so yeah, let's go. Starbucks over there. exiting the Grand Mosque and we're back outside waiting for our driver to pick us up and as you can see here as we're exiting there's a gorgeous view again of the Grand Mosque all those people coming here we go inside we enter through this interesting building very modern but basically like I already told you, it's like a shopping mall inside. So it's really interesting. What do the people do here? I went back to the cab. Look at those huge UAE flags right there. Just standing in the wind like a rock. And here, just exited that. Grand Mosque, Sheikh Zayed. Now we're back with Ishtiak. And we're going to the airport now. So let's go. So we're arriving now at the gate number 10. It's time to let go this way. And basically, we spent 25 minutes just in the airport to go from the very entrance to the gate. I mean, it'll still be like one minute till I arrive there. Let's see, actually. We have it here, gate number 10, the old holy goal, yeah. We'll meet our friend Ali here, he's somewhere around here, probably shopping or something. 
in the tobacco whiskey area, of course. Um, but basically, we're done in 25 minutes. And it's just because of the kind people that were in the airport that led us through, because they see how much the fuck of people were rushing. And now all the tourists are eating here, of course, at the Golden Gates. So, let's go through here. 17.35, right now it's 16.57, so yeah.